This video is merely to talk about a number of new stories in regard to psychics. Let's talk about psychic frauds. Firstly, I want to bring you this story on Rose Marks. Rose Marks managed to get $25 million by plying her trade in Florida. She managed to get millions out of people by claiming to be a psychic. She got loads of money off a famous novelist and much more. And I'm thinking, who's giving money to these people? What kind of bullshit is this where people give their money to someone who claims to have magical powers and they think, right, instead of simply giving, I don't know, £25 or whatever, you know, for a little reading, instead I'll pay millions. There's all of these people who say that they can speak with the dead, all of them, including Sylvia Brown, of course, are like vultures. They sit in a tree and they wait for the grieving to come by. Next news, Sally Morgan. I keep on talking about this woman, but she keeps on putting her bloody foot in it. And this time, she's made a prediction about people knowing the truth behind Princess Diana. Yeah, apparently little George, Prince George, you know, son of William and, uh, of course, uh, Kate, will basically uncover the mystery behind a, a Diana. What are you saying, woman? That, that's insane. And these predictions from psychics are ridiculous. And in the same article, which will be linked below, all these articles will be linked below, basically, Sally claims that she predicted Princess Diana's death. Apparently she did a reading for Princess Diana's sister, and in that reading she saw a body being pulled out of the car, but she thought it was the Queen, and it turned out a year later, Oh, Princess Diana died. That's a prediction, is it? Where you see someone being pulled out of a car. Allegedly. This is all hearsay, by the way, from Sally Morgan. And she's claiming, oh yes, this. <laughs> Bullshit. My toe's stuck. What's she talking about? No. And that's, that's how she died. What, with her toe stuck? Toast. She choked on toast. Oh, love! I got my toast stuck! Oh, my God! Sit down. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! The grieving people who are vulnerable. I mean, if she was truly psychic, she wouldn't need to wait for Prince George to basically come of age and realise the truth behind the death of Princess Diana, would you? No. You wouldn't need to wait, because if she was psychic, she'd be able to go, oh, hang on, this happened. How did you know that? Well, I'm psychic. I can prove it. How can I? Because I'm psychic. I can take you to the place and show you the evidence. How? Because I'm psychic. I mean, surely, if she is, that would be a piece of piss. And this woman gets rich from her lies. You know, publicity in magazines, in papers, on TV, radio, selling her books, doing theatre shows throughout the year. Yes, she is rolling in cash because of her vague and nonsensical lies. So I've just found an article talking about Derek Cora, the fake medium Derek Cora. This is lost souls that are grouped onto the physical eye people would think they were rabbits. She found that his real name is Derek Francis Johnson. What's this a Cora lark? Oh yeah, show name. Why does a psychic, a medium, or whichever term he's using today, need to have a show name? Because he's putting on a show. There is an idea of a Patrick Bateman. Some kind of abstraction. But there is no real me, only an entity something illusory and here's another psychic which has been caught out you know they all get caught out sooner or later doing this little trick these ones who act like they're all that in the bag of chips and they charge lots of money and here's one which got caught out with a twenty-five thousand dollar scam not as big as the one with millions 
but still another scam. There are many scams, many levels, the famous ones who get a few big clients, they make a lot of money, the ones who don't, well they just scam people who just don't have money and they give their money instead of buying decent food, paying their bills. So instead of doing that people are putting money towards this kind of bullshit, so you get these ones who open up on high streets. Most of them aren't too bad, okay? Most are okay, but occasionally you get a real bullshitter who will do all sorts of crazy fucking shit. You can move on. Oh, here's something that made me smile and made me cringe at the same time. An article where a psychic is giving advice about how to avoid frauds. Hmm. So basically, instead of paying loads of money to a psychic, you pay loads of money over time, buying their book, their bullshit, paying for reading. So instead of paying like thousands right now, you pay them over time. Get your friends involved and it becomes a sustainable way of doing it. So you'll be a sustained client who pays probably lots of money over the course of time instead of one big nasty payment to remove demons or something, which these frauds sometimes claim. So instead of paying loads of money right off the bat, you know, instead you pay loads of money over time. And they jump on these people and charge, as Sylvia does, $700 for a 20-minute reading over the telephone. Incredible, but they believe it. And you know, while I'm thinking of it, the whole Sylvia Brown and the Amanda Berry thing where she claimed she was dead and then she turned up alive. <sighs> Fucking ridiculous. Can't people get into their heads if they predict things over and over and the stuff they're very specific about but get wrong that is evidence that they're not as psychic as they claim to be. But people are still going to Sylvia Brown, they're going to a website, calling up little number on there and paying 800 US dollars per reading. But you don't get it right then, do you? No. You have to wait two and a half years because of the waiting list. So you go on the waiting list and you get some call two and a half years down the line for 20 minutes for 800 US dollars. Who's buying into this shit? When they get exposed, these psychics, these, you know, these showmen on stage and on TV, it should sink in that it's not worth paying 800. Hi Sylvia, my brother committed suicide a couple of years ago. I wanted to know if he's okay now and if he's around. Yeah, and he's finally happy, honey. Because okay. he wasn't happy in life, no. Okay. No, he was terribly depressed. These frauds are only on TV because people see the ratings. That's all it's about, ratings. And therefore, people like Sally Morgan, people like Sylvia Brown, or Teresa Caputo, they become popular. Yeah. And then when you're watching it, it goes onto the adverts. That network, that particular pro uh, TV program, doing well, yeah. Because you watch the adverts and you think, hmm, maybe I will go and eat at Burger King. Um, I was just wondering if I had any past lives and what they were. Um, yeah, you've had um, uh, 37 past lives and uh, your last life was um, in Jerusalem and it was about 100 years ago and you were um, a rabbi. And finally, a guy called Lamont Hamilton, or Monty Hamilton, he's known as Monty, has made a load of predictions for this year. Go and have a look before he deletes them when half of them don't come true. Hmm. Because that's what they do, these supposed, you know, these psychic people, these people who claim to have extrasensory abilities. They make these predictions, and they make their predictions fit, either by making them so general, or by removing their predictions once they fail. And he's a Reiki master, as if that means anything. It just simply means he's gone for a program of learning a mystical healing process, a healing therapy. And that doesn't mean dick to anyone apart from those who might believe in it.
so yes, this is the end of the news. If you have any news you'd like me to cover or you think this particular narrative is suitable for my channel in the future, please say. Otherwise, well, tell me if you don't like it. But I'm going to give it a go anyway.